Hi guys, my name is Bailey Upton. I work in the education department at the San Angelo Museum of Fine Arts. I'm also an artist myself. Some things I like to do are painting, drawing, work with mixed media, and wood burning. That's actually what I'm going to be talking to you about today. I'm going to give you a quick demo on wood burning, and with the right tools you might be able to do some of this stuff for yourself at home. Let's get started. My burner is plugged in and warming up right now. The one I have is actually from Hobby Lobby. You can find a similar one at Walmart or Michaels. And they usually come with different little tips that you can screw onto the top and they have different effects on the way that you burn. So I'm gonna quickly show you what the different tips do. Now the tip I'm using right now is the one I probably use the most. It can make very fine lines and it can make medium sized lines. It's kind of the size of a pencil. So you can kind of draw with it as if you're using a pencil, except it's burning. So what you wanna do is you want to take your tool, be careful of your fingers, and you want to just drag it wherever you want it to burn. Now I'm about to change tips and it's really important to remember, you want to turn off your burner before you change tips and you want it to completely cool down before you actually change them out. Because one, you don't wanna burn your fingers by touching the tip that's really hot. And two, if you unscrew the tip out of the burner, you might mess up the screw that attaches it to the burner itself. So it renders the tool completely useless. You definitely wanna just be patient and wait for it to cool down. So this one's really fun because it has a wide variety of things you can do with it. So for example, it has a flat, broad edge on it. And that flat, broad edge is good for wide uh, marks or wide shading. Uh, you can also do really thin, petite lines with this, with the side, just by turning it to its side. This next one is sort of like a wedge, so you can see it gets real thin at the top and thicker at the bottom. This one's good for really thin lines, or if you turn it sideways, it's also good for thicker lines. You can hold it for longer to get a deeper burn and get a thicker line. And then if you hold it for shorter, you get a thinner, less thick line. So this last one is similar to the one that looks like a pencil, except it's rounded at the end. So you get those thin lines like you do with the pencil, except these just kind of flow a little bit easier. There's really no traction, so it's a lot smoother. And if you want to, the longer you hold it, the thicker your line is gonna be. So now that you know what the different tips do, we can go ahead and get started burning. So what I did was I went ahead and drew the image that I wanted to burn onto my piece of wood. You can get wood from Walmart or Hobby Lobby or Home Depot. You can decorate a cutting board, a rolling pin, really anything you want to. This is just a guide for me. It makes it a lot easier to go along as I'm burning, so it's harder to mess up. All right, let's get started. trying to stay even. Sometimes you get these uneven spots. If you just go over them again lightly, you can fill those in. Alrighty, that's it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope that you can try some of this stuff for yourself at home. Uh, like I said before, all you need is a wood burner tool. You can get this at Hobby Lobby or Walmart. Um, you need some wood. I would suggest getting some practice wood so you can try out your different tips and see how they react to the wood. But this wood that you could find at Hobby Lobby or Michaels, this really nice decorative wood, is always perfect for wood burning. Great. Well, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye-bye.